Cinema 4D's spline import enables you to import vector artwork from Adobe Illustrator, PDF or SVG files to use directly in your 3D scenes. Your vector artwork is automatically converted into 3D with the help of the vector import object. There are several ways to import an Illustrator file into Cinema 4D, but the quickest way is to just drag and drop your file directly into the editor. There's also no longer any need to save your files in legacy formats. There are two main options when importing your file. The default option will allow for a simple import while containing Illustrator's layers and converting its paths into splines. From here, these objects can be used as any other spline can. The second option is to enable the create vector object function during import. Then an advanced setup is created, providing you with automatically generated geometry, allowing for a great deal of customization. Path objects from Illustrator will be managed during the import using the fill and stroke information. Stroke color and size will be translated automatically into a sweep object and the fill information will result in an extrude setup while also applying the fill color. Inside of the vector import, you have a variety of different options. You can easily offset paths and layers in 3D space, as well as defining your extrude depth and control your sweep strokes. There's even the possibility of adding caps and bevels to your extruded geometry. Each of these individual parameters can be keyframed, allowing for even more control. If you make any changes inside of your Illustrator file, you can save it and reload the new version directly inside the vector import. Both setups are created internally, but we can gain individual access by enabling the hierarchy option. Then we can drop down our groups to find each individual generator and spline. Or even make the object editable to individually animate each element. 